clubs. There really aren't any that interest me. Besides, most of them would probably be way too demanding for me to want to deal with. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. That's what I call pulling a chara. Laughing to drown out the pain. That was a twist of the game. That was a twist that the game has. Oh. Sammy, get that Undertale trash out of my DDLC. <laughs> Best girl is obviously Bleach Chan. I mean, like, come on, guys. I know, right? Hello, Hellhound. Thank you for joining in and thank you for stopping by. Go away. Oh, God. That was creepy as heck. Monica? Oh, my goodness. I totally didn't expect to see you here. It's been a while, right? Ah, yeah, it has. Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talk, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically completely out of my league. Man, look at that. She's like the perfect waifu, right? Best girl is obviously... <laughs> oh, sorry, I read that already. Earth-chan is a huge... What the... F? No, it's Yuri. <laughs> Who would feel comfortable standing on best girl? <laughs> The game just goes downhill from here. Bleach Chan is old news. Tide. Tide Hatsama is best waifu. <laughs> Chat, you guys are too much. <laughs> so having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little. What did you come in here for? What did you come in here for, anyways? Oh, I've just been looking for some supplies to use for my club. Do you know if there's any construction paper in here or markers? I guess you could check the closet. You're in the debate club, right? <laughs> about that. I actually quit the debate club. Really? You quit? Yeah. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. I have a question. Who's the vice president now? It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. In that case, what club did you decide to join? Actually, I'm starting a new one. Jeez. A literature club. Literature? That sounds kind of dull. How many members do you have so far? Um, <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing, but there are only three of us so far. It's really hard to find new members for something that sounds so boring. Well, I can see that. I never understood that leading forward pose yeah i think it's like the cutesy thing where they're like um trying to show you more cleavage it's 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 an animu thing okay guys it's an animu thing don't question animu also best girl is rope chan sayuri really liked her <laughs> who is sayuri i don't remember this person more like sayonara bitch <laughs> i'll allow the comments i'll allow it <laughs> But it's really nothing boring. It's really not boring at all, you know. Literature can be really can be anything. Reading, writing poetry. I mean, one of my members even keeps her manga collection in the club. See, now we know she's trying to cater it to get us in cuz she knows we're into anime. Wait, really? Yeah, it's really it's funny, real, right? She always insists that manga is literature. Yes it is. It is an art form. How do you not understand as being the president of a literature club? I mean, she's not wrong, I guess. And besides, a member's a member, right? Did Monica say she? Hmm. I kind of wanted to get with girls, and hmm. There's a cute girl right in front of me right now, and um, she's telling me to join a club that also has a girl in the club who's interested in manga, which correlates to being interested in anime, which I am currently interested in. <laughs> <laughs> see, you wouldn't want to be. See, I wouldn't want to be. Yeah, I'm going to hell. Lol. I have a first class ticket. <laughs> a panda is best girl. Best girl is a panda. <laughs> hmm. Hey, go away. By any chance, are you still looking for a club to join? Ah. I mean, I guess so, but in that case, is there any chance you could do me a big favor? I wouldn't ask you to join, but this sounds awfully freaking familiar. If you could at least very, if you could at 
the very least visit my club, it would make me really happy. Please? Um, well, I guess I have no reason to refuse. Besides, how could I ever, how could I ever refuse someone like Monica? Sure, I guess I could check it out. <laughs> awesome! You're really sweet, go away, you know that? It, it's nothing. Is she taking Sayuri's, I mean, uh, girl that I do not want to speak the name of's lines? Like I said, Sayuri likes her. And the uh, in flight movie is super hell. <laughs> what? <laughs> Shall we go then? I'll look for the material uh, for the materials another time. You're more important. And thus today marks the day I sold my soul to Monica and her irresistible smile. What happened to the cupcakes? I wanted cupcakes. I timidly follow Monica across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third year classes and activities. Monica, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. That was f I. Uh, th it's it's so creepy every time that happens. I I just don't. Uh, I'm back, and I brought a guest with me. Oh sh. <laughs> Why are there so many jump scares? Eh? I guess. Seriously, you brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Don't be mean, Natsuki. But anyways, welcome to the club, go away. All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. So let me guess. You're Monica's boyfriend, right? What? No, I'm not. Natsuki... The girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. I totally recognize her! She's supposed to give me a cupcake! It's one way! <laughs> the Monica glitch thing is a chance Easter egg. We got a lucky boy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> don't even get me started on Nusama. I guess you could call Sayuri a nuisance. <laughs> Yo, these, you guys are really good with puns. <laughs> her small figure makes her makes me think she's probably a first year. Are you sure these people are 18? They are totally not 18. This is high school. This has got to be high school. Anyway, this is Natsuki. Energetic as usual. And this is Yuri, the vice president. Well, I guess that answers my question. It's nice to meet you. Yuri, who appear appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with someone like Natsuki. Yeah, it's nice to meet you both. Meet the both of you. So I ran into go away in a classroom, and he decided to come check out the club. Isn't that great? Wait, Monica. Didn't I tell you to let me know in advance before you brought anyone new? I was going to, well, you know. Sorry, sorry. I didn't forget that, but I just happened to run into him. In that case, I should at least make some tea, right? Yeah, that would be great. Why don't you come sit down, go away? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. Yuri walks to the corner of the room and opens the closet. Meanwhile, Monica and Natsuki sit across from each other. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Monica. Alright, so I guess Monica is my... Um point of uh, connection between these people now. So I know you didn't really plan on coming here, but we'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Can you put a link? Depends, what's the link? Sayuri, can you tie this rope? <laughs> New guy, you are messed up. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention like literature. It's a song. If it's a YouTube link, I'm okay with it. Uh, I don't know if I have it blocked, though. Try posting it and see if I can um, allow it. 
You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like festivals that much more important. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, Natsuki? See, they're talking about graduation. They've got to be in, in, in high school. Because in college, you don't really care about graduation. It just happens and you go find a job afterwards. I mean, it didn't block the link, so I guess it could pa you, could, you could post it. Monica, more like Monica, and that wasn't freaking funny. Autocorrect be like... Oh! Wait, how come it said deleted link, huh? What did you change? RIP! <laughs> I see the link, though, but why is it... Why is it blocked for you? What if I try posting it? Did that work? I don't know what you changed, so I'm just putting it up there. H. <laughs> I don't know what H is. Anyways, back to the game. Right, Natsuki? Well, I guess. Natsuki reluctantly agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these two. Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot in the middle. You keep a whole tea set in the classroom? Don't worry, the teacher gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Ah, eh, yes. <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri is just trying to impress you. Eh, that's not... Insulted, Yuri looks away. I feel like I've seen all this already. Why am I still reading it? I meant that, you know, I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but at, I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. I feel like each of... Is it... Is, is each iteration gonna take away, like, another person? Natsuki more like Trapsky. What? <laughs> So go away, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, uh, mangas. <laughs> Considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a, have a good way of answering that. Manga. I mutter quietly to myself half-jokingly. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. N not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. That can always change for you, Yuri. <laughs> what am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad face. Anyways, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her tea cup with her finger. My favorite are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story is such a foreign world in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. In a wee bit, you can skip all the dialogue you've already seen. Oh, so something's supposed to happen, I'm assuming. Yuri equals Yuri. No, she's not. She's totally into us. Come on. Seriously, Hellhound. She is. So anyways, my is, is, is like each character going to be removed and replaced with Monica as time goes on? Don't skip. All right, I won't skip. Jeez, I won't skip. She seems, to res she seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the... Oh, right, I already read this part. <laughs> but you know, I like a lot of things. Stories which deep with deep psych psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for, for a loop? Anyways, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Ah, I read a horror book once. I desperately grasp for something I can relate to at a minimal level. Yeah, that is total me on a date. When I have nothing in common with the girl. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. Pretty much, that's how it works. <laughs> <laughs> I'd expect that from you, Yuri. It suits your personality. Oh, is that so? Really, if a story makes me think, or it takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. I'll allow it. <laughs> I was looking at the comments, and I'm like, yeah, I'll, I'll allow what you just said. Why not? 
Ugh, I hate horror. Oh, why's that? Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. That's right. You usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? Yeah, her poems are very simplistic, too. And they're usually about animals. But then again, I don't really know because I've only seen one of her poems. Like, I don't know if um, the poems actually change anything, but every time I wrote one, she kept berating, belittling me and berating me for the fact that it caters towards Yuri more and she didn't want to read it and she didn't want me reading hers. What gives you that idea? You left the piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called Don't Say It Out Loud! And give that back. Fine, fine. Natsuki, you write your own poems? Eh, uh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Something feels missing here. <laughs> Why don't you share them sometime? No. Natsuki averts her eyes. 